Good morning, Virgos. Virgo, you are up this morning. First reading of the day. And as I sat here thinking of you guys, all creepily, I know, these cards, I'm having a hard time shuffling them. I am. I mean, yes, we know that's nothing new. I dropped the cards, but I mean, it's just hard to even move the cards around. So Virgos, are some of your energy kind of heavy? Maybe you guys are just feeling a bit sluggish, a bit sluggish, forcing yourselves to do things you really don't want to do, but you know you need to do it. Anyway, I will stop rambling. Okay, Harry, Harry, this reading is not MA. Nobody wants to see you lick your butt. Okay, let's get back to it. This is readings for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Virgo, know a Virgo. Just feel like being a Virgo. Well, I am so glad you're here, Virgo. One more shuffle and we will get into it. Nine card Celtic spread with this fabulous deck. It's back, babies. It's back. Tarot of the mystical moments. Because why wouldn't it be? It's a great deck. Okay, general energy. What is going on? What is going on for my Virgos today? What's the general energy? What is it? Ooh, death, Scorpio. I love that card. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. Maybe some of you felt like you died inside, but you're in a transformation period. It can be painful. It can be awakening. But either way, you're not stagnant. You are becoming somebody new. What's challenging the death card for Virgo? What's challenging it? What's challenging us today? Five of Cups. Walking away from something you love, something you care about. Some if to walk away and look, she's she's got her back to something that's still in bloom, um, something that she once had a lot of hope in with the yellow, and she's deep in her emotions. And th this could be male or female. It's just the, it's a female on the card, and. You have to walk away from something you actually still cared about. Walking away from it, it literally is transforming you. And as time goes on, you'll see that you are becoming a different person than who you were in this situation. You couldn't go back even if you wanted to. But sometimes you need time to um, see that because change can happen slowly. And uh, we think we're not moving along. We may even feel like we're stagnant. But you don't realize how far you've come until... You give things some time and space. What is the reason for the reading? Why are we all here today, kids? What is going on, Virgo? Why, why, why? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles reversed, yeah. Again, this is something you really wanted. With the Five of Cups, you had a lot of emotions tied up in this. There was a lot of hope for this with Ace of Pentacles. And I think you've faced reality that this isn't whatever this is, love or job or just any kind of situation, whatever it is for somebody, it's just it's not going to come to fruition. And it's sad, you know. What's in the past, Virgo? What's in the past, guys? Three of Cups reversed. Ooh. Isn't that amazing how Tarot tells a very clear story? And um, anyway, three of cups reversed. Maybe this could have been a third party situation. This is a, maybe you were with somebody that you saw forever with and you found out they had somebody else. Maybe you, um, were with somebody and you knew they had somebody else, but they're like, maybe you, there was that hope that you were going to get picked because they were leading you on. And, um, you know, like I'm going to leave them. I swear I'm going to leave them. And it just never happened. What's on your mind, Virgo? What is on your mind? Eight, king of Swords, and it's the female in this deck. There's kings and emperors have male and female, and it's the King of Swords. So some of you female watchers, this is you getting um, strong control over your life, getting some deep clarity. Even for the males, just getting very, very deep clarity on this situation. Some of you males watching, you could have been dealing. Um, I mean, this could even, if you're a male watching, this could even be the female aspect because we all have masculine, feminine energies within us. So it's just kind of getting in touch with those emotions with the Five of Cups. Some of you were dealing with a really strong female, but I love this for the female King of Swords to show up. Either way, whoever it is, male or female, you are getting really strong clarity on the situation. You know exactly what you need to do. You know, the, I mean, you're not in reverse. You're not unbalanced in the, you're, you're very clear headed. Is it sad? Yes, it's sad, but you're moving forward. What's in the near future for you guys? What's in the near future, Virgo? What is in the near future for my Virgos? Five of Swords. Wow, this lady loves to come up in the near future card. And look at that, she's got a piece of that man. 
And you know, there's nothing left of him. He's just a shadow of his former self because she took and took and took and took. So sadly, guys, whoever you were dealing with, this could be somebody coming back realizing hey i need my virgo back they were feeding they were feeding me they were building my ego they were literally could have been feeding me they could have been paying my bills i need that virgo back it could be even a new energy similar to what you just been through so let's see how do you see yourselves virgo how do you see yourselves how do you see yourselves oh king of pentacles taurus energy earth energy regardless you see your you see yourself as a king king of swords and a king of pentacles i love it you're bossing up and again it's the female king i can't help to say for the female viewers you guys if you've never felt in control of your life ever you will now or you are now you 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 are in complete control and i mean maybe in the past people just thought they can make decisions for you telling you what to do but with the king of swords nobody tells the king of swords what to do the king of pentacles makes their own money they're fair they take care of those they love they're just, they're, they're not given time to the five of swords kind of people. Speaking of that, because it tells, you know, a nine, uh, Celtic cross nine card will tell a clear story. And I feel like this is that person. Let's continue for the near future coming in. What you don't see coming. What is it for Virgo? What is it? What's this near future coming in? The energy. It is the page of swords reversed. Who are you guys dealing with? Urgh. five of swords and a page of swords reverse this is not a nice person that is the nice way to say this the the real way to say this is this is an asshole you guys were dealing with an, a, a liar a manipulator somebody who doesn't get their way you don't want to get in an argument with the page of swords reverse not in this energy not in this energy with the three of cups maybe they thought they can have their cake and eat it too you busted them out you had to walk away they're coming back and it's kind of like i feel like and when they come back they're going to be all sweet and nice and virgo you just you just misread things virgo come on virgo you 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 know me but then when you when you, if you stick up with your boundaries king of swords and king of pentacles that's very very strong boundaries and if you don't let this energy in that's when all hell breaks loose just that's what i'm getting guys this person will throw everything and anything at you. So watch out. What's in your emotions, Virgo? What is in your emotions? What's in your emotions today in this reading? What is in your emotions? Nine of Pentacles reversed. Just feeling unstable, unbalanced. And remember, the, when the Nine of Pentacles reverse comes out, you're still you're actually really the Nine of Pentacles, but you just can't see it. Why can't you see it? Because you're deep in the Five of Cups. You're in, you're if you don't realize it, you are you are transforming. And a lot of times when you're transforming, just like a butterfly, before it becomes a butterfly, it's a caterpillar in a cocoon. Cocoons are dark. They they're isolated. They can't see in the outside world. They can't see what's coming. They can't you know maybe who knows what goes on in a caterpillar's mind. Maybe they're think only thinking of what was lost, not seeing the beautiful butterfly they're going to become and be free and fly. You know, they're used to crawling, sludging a lot around the ground. And when they come out of that cocoon, they're going to fly and be free to new, new heights. And th that's what you're not seeing. You are the Nine of Pentacles, but you're not seeing it. You're not feeling it because you're probably deep in the motions from this. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see if we got some room up there. What is the outcome for this reading, Virgo? What is the outcome for my Virgos? What is the outcome, guys? What is the outcome? Nine of Cups reversed. This is, I feel like this is you not offering, we're, we'll clarify. And oh, look at it at the bottom of the deck. Look at that magician and the justice. The magician card is you, of course. Virgo, Gemini energy. Justice is Libra energy. Some of you could be a Virgo, Libra cusp. Some of you can have been dealing with a Libra. Some of you can have been dealing with a Virgo. It goes on and on. We have Aquarius. We, we, have, we have Pisces. We have everything on the board. Anyway, where was I? This is you now manifesting a place of balance. This is you now on the path that you're, you're meant to be on, Virgo. This person could have been just come into your life to show you who you really are deep inside, who, what you can become. They're probably not someone that should have stayed in your life. This is someone to come into your life to realize how strong you truly are because we have two kings on the board. They were a dishonest energy. Energy. A lot of times the lessons we, we have to learn aren't coming from fatherly nice figures. They're coming from assholes. 
to, because assholes will show us who we really are inside and give us that inner strength so we can blossom. So we can go towards our own five of flowers. That's what it should be. Leaving a five of cups into the five of flowers. But the Knight of cups reverse is you probably no longer opening up to this love, no longer going after this love, no longer giving to this love. Why? Because you're busy, Virgo. You're, you're on to your own path, creating your own life. Okay, guys, let it, we're going to clarify with the black and gold tarot. I love this. Is it hard to see on camera? Yes, it is because it's all foily. It's all shiny and foily. Gold is just, who doesn't love gold? You know, I'm feeling bling, 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 bling. Tell me about this death and five of cups for Virgo. What is this death and five of cups for Virgo about? Give me some clarity. Five of cups and the death card. Yeah, eight of, you no longer, it's you, Virgo. Eight of Pentacles reverse. You're just, you're, you're no longer working on this. You're no longer working on it. Sadly, you aren't. But it looks like Virgo, they have too much self-respect to go where they have, it's a shared energy. Virgo, you don't want to be somebody's first choice. You don't want to be, you know why? Because that implies there's a second choice and a third choice and a fourth choice. You want to be their only choice. You want to be their only choice. And that is what I'm feeling here. You were just one of like seven cups. Maybe you were their favorite cup, but do you want to be someone's favorite cup? You want to be their only cup. You want to be their ace of cups. Remember that. Tell, speaking of aces, what's this ace of pentacles reverse reason for the reading? Why is that here? The devil. Capricorn energy. We got a lot of we, two Capricorns on the board. Wow. Cap. Yeah, it's toxic. Some of them, you probably felt they were the devil, but you felt chained to this. You felt bound to this. You felt maybe a bit obsessed and it, obsessed can come when somebody gives you initially this is how these relationships work they will love bomb you they will make you feel like you know oh my god virgo i've been waiting for you my entire life come and save me from my sad sad life and you may have even talked yourself into the situation and next thing you know you're in the situation and as you're in it they hook you and then they start pulling back and pulling back and guess what what happens you start chasing them that's when this toxicity comes in this could have been very well a soulmate situation, but not all soulmates are last. Most soulmates don't come into your life and last forever. They come in to teach you about yourself. Maybe next life you teach them about themselves. Maybe you did teach them about themselves when you walked away. I mean, you really don't know how, only God knows how situations affect everybody. You, you're not going to be privy to how they're going to take this. You have to, you just have to know that you, you hit them energetically, probably when you walked away. And that's all you need to know because you now Virgo is focused on themselves and onto better things. But going back to why we're all here today, kids, is the devil on the Ace of Pentacles reverse. This was hard as hell to let go. I give you a lot of credit for walking away from this because this was enticing. You really saw something great. You invested yourself 100% into the situation because you thought you saw something great that could happen. What you didn't count on is this person was a manipulator and a liar. And how would you know that? Because they probably also, I just want to say with it, I'm an intuitive reader. And even though all these cards have their places, I will crisscross when I see it in the Knight of Cups reverse. I'm going to guess that you were dealing with somebody who, who, talk the talk but couldn't walk the walk that's also the knight of cups reverse they they put on this front and then it's just like smoke and mirrors you know you know a song that just popped in my head i love tracy chapman and it's smoke and mirrors if you haven't listened to that listen to that song i feel like that's for some of you smoke and mirrors by tracy chapman okay three of cups reverse in the past for virgo tell me about this three of cups reversed two of cups yeah, ironically, this is what you thought you had, and in fact, in real, in actuality, especially for the, my females dealing with a male, you probably found out there was like three other women involved. But if male or female viewers, you were probably found out that they were just dealing with you know different people, but you thought it was just you and them. So again, didn't I say soulmate? Two of Cups is also soulmate energy. Cancer. Can't both. Two, both cards of cancer, two and three of cups. But, okay, give me another card on that in the past. And the king of wands. Yeah, I feel like this person was super charismatic, male or female. 
kings can be females too. They were super charismatic. They led you on. They appeared and maybe they even like in their work, maybe they do have it together. For some of you, I, I also feel for some of you, they they flashed a lot of money, but probably were high in debt because the Nine of Cups reversed again. This It's all smoke and mirrors. Either way, a King of Wands is stable. He's he's about commitment. He is charismatic and people are attracted to him, but he, he doesn't, he's not, he's not like on a Mormon show, you know, like what is that? Sister wives? He's not all sister wives. You don't see five queens all around this guy. He's got one queen and that's the Queen of Wands. That is what you thought you were getting. Just a two of cups situation. You realize this this guy or girl was like a gigolo gigolette kind of thing. Okay, King of Swords at the top on your mind. Why is the King of Swords on Virgo's mind? Queen of Cups? Cancer again. Can a lot of cancer. I, this is Queen of Cups, I feel, is you. Um, on your mind is you got clarity, you got control of your life. But most importantly, Virgo's balanced in their emotions. You're balanced because you know the, what the right thing to do is here. This isn't about, I'm going to go burn everything. I'm going to burn their life to the ground. This is about you with dignity, putting your head up and walking away like the five of cups. You're quietly, maybe some of you just quietly walked away and the, it, it shocked the hell out of them. You know, they, they thought you probably would never leave. Maybe you took a lot of shit from them and whatever was the final straw, you just, you just walked away. You were done. But the queen of cups is she's, she's good with her decisions. She's balanced. It's a queen that's highly intuitive. She's, she feels, and she, she is not ashamed of feeling her emotions. So tell me about the five of swords coming in for you guys. What's the five of swords in the near future? What's the five of swords in the near future? High priestess. I think, ooh, look at that, more cancer energy. I think that with the high priestess here, one, there's a couple things. It's in the near future. I think one, you guys know this person's probably coming back. That, that, this is your instincts. This is, you know, I, I you're, you're, you're high up in your intuition. The, two, the queen of cups up here, she's a highly intuitive queen. You are, uh, you are, you're, you're embodying two kings and a queen of cups and a high priestess. You guys are high, You guys are on point with your intuition. Also, because this is falling on the five of swords, I feel like this person, and also with this guy, you see he's a shadow back there. Wh whoever you're dealing with, they do, they do sneaky shit in secret, right? The high priestess is secretive. They do sneaky, sneaky ass shit in secret. So it's kind of like you have to look beneath the surface. If you look beneath the surface, you're going to see a bunch of dead bodies. I hope literally you're not seeing dead bodies with this person. Some of you might, you just might, I'm just saying, but this person takes pieces out of people secretly. This is a backstabber. If this is, a, if this is a job, you were, you're, you're working with somebody who it looks like an all American, all of, well, I shouldn't say American because there's people from all over the world watching, but you know what I, I mean? The, the, you know what I'm getting at that terminology. This is a person who looks the part, who looks respectful, who looks loyal. Hey, Hey, I'll help you out. And then in a secret email in a different name, they're, they're, you know, emailing the boss backstabbing you and trying to, you know, throw you under the bus. This, this is the energy. They do shit in secret. They do, they do stuff in secret. So I don't think you're done with them. They may not immediately come back because this isn't the, the future, but it's like when they, I feel like a Rolodex, when they go through different energies, they're going to come back around to you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles here, how you see yourselves. How does Virgo, why does Virgo see themselves as the King of Pentacles? Why is that here? Yeah, Seven of Swords reverse. This is energetically one going back to the scene of crime. This is you taking stock where you are, taking the lessons and building your life. This is also you avoiding, you're avoiding, I feel like this energy because you're focused on your pentacles, you're focused on your growth, your, your spiritual growth, your financial growth, your life. Virgo, you're just focused on you, which is great. That's, that's the ultimate revenge is focus on your own happiness. But the seven of swords, I feel like is avoiding. What is Virgo avoiding? What is Virgo? Eight of wands. Yeah, I feel like this is, this is your energy. The, the seven of swords is avoiding the five of swords. The eight of wands is, a, you know, you are in your momentum. You're building momentum. Let's see what else comes out. And ten of cups. Yeah. You're, you're focused. I said that before. You're focused on your own happiness. Some of you may even have kids. You're just focused on what makes you happy. What brings you long-term success? You got these three cards. 
I feel like these go strong together. This is what you're focused on. The King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, fast movement towards your happiness. You, and fast movement away from this. And maybe some of you felt kind of stuck. You, you knew this wasn't the right situation. If this was a job, you knew it wasn't going anywhere. There was a lot of toxicity in the workplace. And this you just don't want any more of that with the Seven of Swords. You, do, you don't want any more of that. Tell me about this Page of Swords reversed and the energy coming towards Virgo. What's this Page of Swords reverse doing here? What is this about? Temperance. You know, Temperance reverse. Let me tell you something. When the Temperance reverse pops up, it is the same as the Devil Upright. Okay? Yeah. So Page of Swords reverse, a Temperance reverse. You, again, are dealing... I feel like you were dealing with a broken person. You're, you're dealing with somebody, two of swords reverse, who has a hard time making decisions, who's not, who can't even find inner peace if, if you know, if God himself delivered it in their hand. They can't, they can't find it. Who, who's in, inside, they're the ten of swords, and therefore they only know how to hurt people because this is who they are deep within. I mean, I feel like the bottom of the deck. There, there are four cups reverse. They're a restless energy. And, and you know, this is, a, whoever you're dealing with, they, they waste they waste people like when you how do i explain this with when they're in a relationship when they're in a relationship with somebody it's kind of like they feel like it's unlimited and you're always going to be there so they're just going to walk all over you take whatever you are offering and give nothing in return once you walk away this is a person who lives in the past once you walk away they're like oh that was the one who got away with the four cups reversed that was the one who got away oh look at i'm now sad virgo walked away but they left, oh, but they did leave three cups. I wonder if I could sell Virgo stuff. Ten of Swords. This person operates from the Ten of Swords. Because, so then they create the Ten of Swords in other people because they're unbalanced. You're dealing with a highly unbalanced person, a Queen of Pentacles reversed, who probably even had financial problems and, and deals with depression. But the Temperance reversed, going back with the Page of Swords reversed, this is an unbalanced person. This is a person who, who feels like the grass is always greener on the other side, so they don't invest in their own grass. If they would just invest in their own grass and get true green out there, they would have a nice green grass, right? They would water their grass, they would feed their grass, and then other people would admire what they have. They haven't learned that yet. They're not like, they're not smart. Sorry, they're not like smart to figure out. You, you feed your own grass. You don't hop the fences to your neighbor's house. So temp, this person just feeds into other energies and because they, they're like, they have nothing. They're, they have nothing within. And when you get clued into this, they're the page of swords reverse. They're an asshole. They get highly defensive and really mouthy. Tell me about the nine of pentacles reverse in Virgo's emotions. What's the nine of pentacles reverse, which is their card? What is this nine of pentacles reverse doing here for Virgo? Page of Cups. You know what? That was just here too. Page of Cups was upright. I saw it. Page of Cups reversed. With the Knight of Cups reversed and the outcome, the Page of Cups reversed, this is, I feel like this is you reflecting on, I tried with this person. I tried. I tried. I tried. What did they, what else do they want from me? I gave them love. I wrote them love letters. I sang them songs. I sent them songs. I bought them things and I still wasn't enough. That is, you're thinking I'm not enough. Nine of Pentacles reversed. That, but Virgo, come on. Think, 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 think. You're a very smart sign. You're a very balanced sign. You are enough. This person isn't enough. You, yeah, you're not enough to be two people. You're not, you can't, you can't, you cannot live somebody else's karma. This is a person who's who's probably going to take three lifetimes to burn off all the bad karma they, they built up in this lifetime. Get away from it. Don't take on anybody else's karma. Separate yourself from this energy as quick as you can and start living your life because guess what? Once you realize that, once you realize you're the nine of pentacles all along, the page of cups comes in. You know what the page of cups is? New love. New love, it could be with somebody, new love even within yourself, a new, a new career path. But either way, it's happiness, Virgo. It's happiness. But it's, uh, it's up to you to see it. It's up to you to put this into perspective and try to understand. Just try to understand what was I supposed to learn from this? And then you let the rest go. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reversed and the outcome for Virgo. What's the Knight of Cups reversed? Tell me about the Knight of Cups reversed and the outcome. Ace of Cups. Look at that. 
this is what you want. This is ultimate healing. I feel like this is you healing yourself with the Knight of Cups reversed. This is many things actually. By you no longer offering your love to the situation and walking away with the Knight of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups comes in. You, will, you close one door and you open another. And you don't just open a little door, you open a big ass door of love. This is your gift from the universe, an Ace of Cups. But you gotta do the healing. You have to put this in perspective because I'll tell you what, this is coming back. If this person isn't coming back themselves, it's gonna be another person just like this. You could have had a series of people, but you need to see it for what it is and close the door for good on this. But yeah, the Knight of Cups reversed. I love that. What do you what do you want when you walk away from this? You got the Ace of Cups. Can I get one more? I almost don't want to get one more card because the God, what's better than the Ace of Cups, right? What's better than the Ace of Cups? Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse also in the outcome. What else is that about? Eight of Swords. Maybe some of you feel like it's never going to happen. It's never coming in. What you know, this is I, I feel like this is just you in your head putting this all into perspective. This is just your thought process. I don't really think you guys feel like you don't deserve love. I don't feel like that at all. I think you're way too smart for that. I just feel like this is you. You feel like you got taken. You maybe feel like a fool a bit, but we've all been there, Virgo. Tell me, give me one more card on that. And the Queen of Wands reverse. That's who you've been dealing with. Look at that. Let's let's go back, shall we? In the past, we have a King of Wands, and what did I say? The King, you know, to the Queen. Now we have a true pair. But in this situation, I feel like you were the king of wands and, or, or this person portrayed themselves as the king of wands, but they were with, they were with many people. The queen of wands reverse is the, it's an inappropriate lover. Actually, the knight of cups reverse is really an inappropriate lover on however you can take that. But the queen of wands reversed in this reading is this person. You know, you guys know what a Queen of Wands reversed is. It's a cheater. It's a player. It's it could be male or female. It's somebody who runs around with many people. With the Knight of Cups reversed, they they give themselves to everybody. They give that cup to everybody. Yeah, but Virgo, your Ace of Cups is coming in. You just you have to put this into perspective. What this what this is. You just have to put this into perspective. Yeah. Can't, more cancer, chariot reverse. You have to put a stop to this once and for all. I want to say once and for all because I feel like this isn't your only rodeo with this kind of energy. Yep. So I want, yeah, drop the burden, ten of wands reverse, dropping the burden, Sagittarius energy. This is, yeah, this is you guys dropping that burden, letting it go. And it's kind of like that analogy again, going back with a caterpillar in a cocoon and they can't see what's coming, but once they get that strength, they break through that cocoon, however caterpillars do it, or butterflies, when they finally wake up to their own transformation here. And it's kind of like all that burden just falls away. The, the butterfly opens their wings and instinctually they just know they're gonna fly. They know they're not gonna hit the ground. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually quite beautiful, this transformation. But it's only when you drop the burden and put it into perspective who and what you've been dealing with. That's when you're going to fly, Virgo. Okay, Virgos, that is what I have for you this week. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your week and a really great weekend. I will see you next week. Take care.